This video will teach you how to properly collect a dry blood sample. The cartridge is provided in a sealed Mylar bag. Each cartridge contains two microsampling devices. Tear open the Mylar package using the pre-slit notch, being careful not to damage the Ziploc feature. Leave the desiccant packet inside the bag. Open the Mitra cartridge by pulling the tabs apart from each other until the two sides are folded downwards. It's important you do not remove the microsamplers from the cartridge. You're about to take two blood samples using the two microsampling devices in the Mitra cartridge. Here's an example of a proper sample collection versus an improper one. For proper sampling, take the blood from a positive angle. You'll do this by applying the microsampler tip to the surface of the drop of blood. Make sure the sampler tip turns fully red and then count two seconds before slowly and smoothly removing it. Do this again for the second collection. Remember not to submerge the entire microsampler tip in blood. Don't sample from a negative angle and don't drop blood onto the microsampler from above. Now that you've collected the two samples, you can close the Mitra cartridge device, return the cartridge to the Mylar bag, and seal it using the Ziploc feature. Ensure the Mylar bag is completely and tightly closed and allow the sample to dry stored in the bag at room temperature. Remember, the Mylar bag should still contain its desiccant sachet. And it's that easy.